Hello, hello, citizens and you EMC miners. I'm back after crashing into the antenna. So basically I had to go back and spawn a new glaive. Uh, and come back and fight the pirates. This time it took a bit longer. Ended up having to fight a saber. But I managed. So again, thanks to my missiles. And a good shot. So a few good shots. So basically, we're back, and uh, here's the um, the tower in question. So I'm not gonna get too close this time. I don't want to crash in it again. But instead, we'll just EVA out, and I'll show you uh, what it looks like from closer. So let's go out. We stop hearing the music. Oh, no, here it is. It's still there. So let's go down forward and let's go have a quick look at this uh, the top of the repeating tower you'll see on the top I'll talk a bit louder because of the music so basically on top of the tower you can see that there's a vending machine there and there's there's always something written behind them in this case it's 273 K. Some of them is 144K. I don't know why there's a difference. But basically this is the vending machine. If we just swing around here and it's some kind of fuel uh, light. So here we go. And oh that's because this one is a uh, crab breeds. Crab breeds. That's why it's not the same number in the back. The other ones, we'll see at another episode. The other one is a uh, different vending machine. It's still a big Benny, but this one is different. So that's why it doesn't have the same number in the back. But anyway, uh, but we're not here to look at vending machine. We're here to go and see the... Um, a sparking lightning of the wreck so and we'll be further from uh, the tower so we won't have so much the annoying uh, music it's fun at first but after a while it gets to your nerve so here we go uh, a bit further down the yellow light underneath and here we go swing around swing back in it and to power back up the ship. Oops. Yeah, there's always a. Uh, the alignment is not that good until the ship starts. And here everything comes back. So let's move away from this thing. Okay. So now let's go around. The wreck's gonna be on the other side. Hopefully it's not going to be too difficult to find. Sometimes it takes a little while, but basically it's like on the opposite side of uh, the repeating tower. So next to another piece of rock. Okay, so let's go around. It should be around there. Here it is. So, so we'll get closer. I'm not going to wait too long around because eventually there's going to be new parrots coming back. But in the meantime, let's go here. We see the three triple blink blinking light. So let's get close to it. Uh, let's make sure it's not come too fast close to it. And just a bit underneath below. I brought some friends over and some of them came too quick toward the light and they basically crash into it and as you can see we already see the uh, the sparks so you have to be careful when you EVA and actually even the ship can get damaged but uh, basically let's get a bit closer and we'll EVA out so you'll see uh, really what it looks like but basically there's big spark, big lightning spark coming out of this uh, 
ejected reactor core from a what looks to be a starfarer, but it's so smashed in pieces that it's hard to say. So if some of you guys explored it and you have a better insight as to what the uh, ship that got damaged is, uh, let me know in the comments below. And uh, but, uh, it's been a while I've been here, so let's get closer. Not too close. Whoops. Yeah, not too scratch. And here we see. I don't know if I need to get out really. Uh, I've seen it so many times. You guys can come here and explore this thing by yourself. But I'm just warning you. You got to be very careful. As soon as you get too close to those uh, lightning bolts, and if you get zapped by one, it's instant dead. And here you go. You're respawning your bunk and I have to get a new ship and fly again over and refight the pirates. So basically, yeah, uh, let's go, let's uh, risk it and let's get a bit closer and see if uh, we can uh, get a better view of it. And you see there's some uh, lightning too. And basically we can see the core uh, right there, the reactor right at the source of those lightning bolt. Let's try to get a better angle. Let's move it a bit to the side. Here we go. And uh, I'm going to aim right at it. Here, here, here. Just a bit further up. Here we go. And right next to the cross there. You can see a bit to the, to the right of, of it. That's where the reactor core is you some people dare to go very close and actually if you're lucky you'll be able to get close enough without being zapped but uh, you can hear the lightning let's get a bit closer whoa whoa whoops wrong key that's not good let's go back up there we go maybe shielded behind the uh, that piece there and uh, move a bit closer and you can hear it that's very impressive yeah. so in a previous uh, release of star citizen the reactor core was actually um, uh, enclosed a bit so but this time in there it's quite well exposed and the lightning is much stronger goes further and it's quite uh, impressive so you guys got to see that the location of this uh, active ejected reactor core is 073 dash 5 in the yellow asteroid belt so on this i'm gonna leave you here and uh, what should be our next destination you know what uh maybe uh, big benny Eng. i don't know so that's uh, a possibility so i'll think about that and until then you guys take care and have fun flying in the verse